OK, I don't know about you, but I'm getting really annoyed with this fast now. For over 48 hours, the entire political and media establishment have effectively shut down to a way to report about parties that took place at number 10 Downing Street well over a year ago. Of course, those parties were wrong and are rightly being investigated. I expressed my fury about the nonsensical and inhumane regulations at the time when the rest of the media, bar a few honourable exceptions, were demanding even tougher restrictions. None of us should have had to follow the loony and loopy laws, especially now we know those in power didn't bother to. But, and this is a big but, it's not the crime of the century. And the media establishment who think they run the country have they've lost any sense of proportion. It's clear there is one goal. Bring down Boris at any cost and try and damage Brexit in the process too. What's right for the country at a critical time in our exit from the pandemic on the eve of the cost of living crisis and with Russia on the brink of war with Ukraine? Well, what's right for the country doesn't seem to come into it. You know who doesn't give a damn about what's right for the country? Angela Rayner, Keir Starmer, Mark Drakeford and Nicola Sturgeon. They are trying to sow discord. So too are the BBC. We know why they don't want a Tory government because this one has finally threatened to clip the BBC's wings. I have to say shame on the leader of no opposition, Starmer, who at PMQs today didn't ask one question, not one question, about the Ukraine crisis or even the government's planned national insurance increase. Ministerial Code says that ministers who knowingly mislead Parliament will be expected to offer their resignation. Does the Prime Minister believe that applies to him? So since he acknowledges the ministerial code applies to him, will he now resign? Does the Prime Minister really not understand the damage his behaviour is doing to our country? So can the Prime Minister confirm that he will publish the full Sue Gray report as he receives it? How much damage are the Prime Minister and his Cabinet prepared to do to save his skin? Isn't this a Prime Minister and a government that have shown nothing but contempt for the decency, honesty and respect that define this country? Yep, not a thing about Ukraine, not a thing about the cost of living crisis. You know who's making themselves look even more ridiculous in this mess too? The Westminster media mob. Uh, they've spent 18 months failing to report on these parties which some of them even attended. I have that on good authority, by the way. And now they try to convince the country we should all be gripped by this story saga, even though they don't know what they're talking about. Could we see it? Well, honestly, I don't know. Maybe next week, maybe the week after. It could be then. It may not be then. But all is quiet at the moment uh, here on the street. You can't quite hear the ink dry, but we understand it has been written. It looks very likely now that uh, it will be uh, published tomorrow. When we might get this report, this crucial report, and, and in what form are we going to get it? If only we knew. Number 10 telling us they have still not received the Sue Gray report. Busy doing nothing much. Waiting, wondering if the findings of a report into rule breaking in Downing Street will make life impossible for Boris Johnson. That report led the BBC six o'clock news tonight. We have lost all sense of perspective. If this is a fair fight, by the way, why aren't the BBC and all the usual suspects demanding that the police investigate Keir Starmer for his very obvious COVID rule breach? But of course, Thana, oh yeah, there he is. Downing Bear. And he claims it was a work meeting. Yeah, right. Partying, were you, Mr. Starmer? But of course, they're not investigating Starmer because this has become much more than about COVID rule breaches. It's finally an opportunity for his long term enemies to banish Boris from number 10. And by the way, I'm angry with Boris. He fluffed much of his pandemic response. Uh, he became addicted to lockdowns and restrictions and then allowed all sorts of nonsense to go on at number 10. So I'm angry with Boris, but I am convinced it's not up to the BBC to insist a PM elected with an 80-seat landslide majority that he must go. We're not stupid, and we see what's going on. 
Calm and patience from Tory MPs is required. The time has come for them to block out the media hysteria.